I think biologically, you know what I mean, if you look back at history, people have sex at a young age, so I think that our bodies tell us that we should be having sex when you're young. I think that society has kind of evolved, um, especially, you know, like in the United States and in certain countries, so um, we don't think that it's okay, but I think biologically, I think maybe, you know, our bodies are thinking that it should, so I think it's kind of like a, um, you know, it's kind of a toss-up of whether or not you should. Do I personally think they should be having sex? Um, I think they have been from the beginning of time, so I don't know if it's a question of whether or not they should or not, because um, I think they're going to. I think that they definitely should practice abstinence. I think they should never do it until they're 30, but what am I going to do? I'm a realist. I know that it happens. So um, I usually try and encourage people, if they've made that choice, to do it safely and for the protection of their future, not getting pregnant or having an unwanted baby or becoming a father. When asked what is their stance regarding teens and sexual activity, 58% of students said teens should practice abstinence until they get married. But then again, 48% of these students who said this were once or currently involved in some sort of sexual activity. If that's what you want to do, hey. Like, you want to smoke weed, smoke weed. You want to have sex, have sex. I mean, that's you. It's the individual. I honestly couldn't tell you why teens still have unprotected sex knowing that you can get pregnant and knowing that you can get a, a disease or HIV, but I feel a lot of them do it for, I guess, the satisfaction factor at the moment, but I honestly can't answer that question because I don't know why they do it. Like, I don't, me personally, I don't understand why kids don't wait till they're married or wait a long time before they actually do something like that. But it's more common nowadays that, you know, kids keep doing it at early, earlier age. Um, because they probably figure it won't happen to them, like AIDS, whatever, that's like a, something that they can't really see unless they see it up close. And I think that's the major problem with the consequences part. And like stuff not using condoms or not using birth control, like they probably just think it doesn't feel good or they don't want to get fat or whatever. Like they feel that they don't need it. You caught an HIV from doing this, this, and that, and you still want to have sex, you're going to do it regardless of thinking about that because you're always going to have that mentality of, oh, that's never going to happen to me. Who? <laughs> um, I, I don't really know. I mean, I have a few friends that. Um, are in a relationship and sometimes their boyfriends don't want to use condoms so they're like oh okay well let's just do without a condom and then something will happen or there's no condom there but they're still in the mood so they end up just doing it anyway so I think it's just like the lack of responsibility really they so they're careless. They don't just, think it's gonna happen to them. They think they're Superman or something <laughs> like that, so they don't care. They think it's so rare it's just not gonna happen to them or they think they're being careful enough to where or they think they're the skills so that they know <laughs> how to prevent it themselves without a contraceptive. It's really not gonna work, but, but that's what they think. I think it's in the moment thing, because like when you're in the moment you in the moment, you're not going to think about, oh, what's going to happen? Could I get pregnant or does he have something, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it doesn't really cross anybody's mind. He's like, well, let, let me get some, you know? But <laughs> we can tie all these factors together, the media, school, and parents. There is no doubt the influence the decisions we make regarding sex. These can either be positive or negative decisions, but in the end... Although we factor in all the possible consequences, there is always an unwanted pregnancy or a sexually transmitted disease. Jenny, you've tested positive for the HIV virus. What? The test isn't 100% accurate. You should... I tested positive? I'm sorry. <laughs>
that the truth will so shine in One day, one day, one day you'll understand You grow up when you see that there's a truth between friends and enemies I should listen to my intuition of the way When you moves and you move to a say They say no more, no more, no more, no more Can't stick around until you take me down I'm alone and dealing with the confusion that I'm feeling I made the greatest mistake of my life When I let you get away, baby And I, I made the greatest mistake Still there, still there, still there between us Misguided lost child I pray, I pray for you I hope that your lies can keep you warm Oh, if I I could rewind the time and keep the records playing, playing, playing I say play on, play on, play on, play on Never left behind Forget about the broken hearted We gotta pick up where we started I made the greatest mistake of my life When I let you get away, baby And I, I made the greatest mistake Still there, still there, still there yeah. Wish I read the writing on the wall we made around us now, baby Mistakes can turn your world around and build it Still there.